All right, well, hello, everybody. I'm Pune. Thank you, Rosie, for that introduction. Um, I know there's a lot of people um, that are tuning in that I haven't met yet, and usually you have to meet someone before you invite them into your home or into the private parts of your home, but not me. We're just going to jump in there, and I'm going to show you my bathroom because that's how my day starts, and that's what this tour is about. It's what I do during the day and how I use oils throughout my house. So we're in my bathroom, and I'm going to start with my medicine cabinet here. In the morning when I get started, first thing I do is I brush my teeth, and um, I use the On Guard toothpaste. It has wild orange, it has cinnamon, it has clove. Um, a lot of the products we use in our houses uh, as well is On Guard, which has the wild orange, and uh, we love it. So um, I am in my 40s, and um, I have noticed skin issues popping up that I didn't have before. So um, I've experimented with the different doTERRA skincare products, and I um, really like the um, line they have. So up here is my skincare products um, that I use. Um, I'll even demonstrate the eye cream. It's my favorite. Uh, they have the whitening gel and um, the toner and cleansers and things like that. Um, because of what's happening in the world, I'm mostly home during the day, so I don't need to put a lot of makeup and stuff on. So I'm basically, my current daily routine is just to put a drop of Yarrow Palm. Um, it just really moisturizes my skin. I happen to live in a very dry area, um, east of Sacramento, California. So um, we have dry heat and this really moisturizes my face. Um, other things you see here, my hair serum, the Root to Tip hair serum um, that really helps with my frizzy hair um, and um, the different doTERRA um, uh, deodorants. So I want to talk to you a little bit about um, what else I have here in the bathroom. This is my pill box, literally. Um, I got this box at the craft store because, you know, people put beads and things like that in these boxes, not me. I put um, doTERRA products in here that I take every day. Um, there's too many to go through, so I'll just give you a little bit of a highlight. I use the daily um, lifelong vitality um, pack. It's a, it's a combo of three different uh, supplements that have really helped balance um, the nutrition um, deficiencies that um, nutrient deficiencies that I may have. Um, I do want to draw your attention to one product that I love. It's the PD Assist capsule. It's green and um, it's got a capsule within a capsule. It's got chlorophyll in the center. Um, this is your probiotic and your prebiotic. And I um, really um, benefit from taking this particular one. You know, a lot of people um, take little cups of yogurt that you get at the grocery store for their probiotics. Um, if you ever to get a chance to look at the labels, I don't know how many units of probiotics they have, but one capsule of doTERRA's product has six billion uh, units of probiotics and prebiotics. The prebiotics dissolve in your stomach um, where they're needed to break down the food and the probiotics break down in your intestines. So uh, definitely something I use for digesting food. I don't go through um, great detail about every product that is um, in here, but I want to kind of take you over to this side. Um, this is Charlie, my husband's side. Um, he has his doTERRA on guard uh, soap and we also use the on guard mouthwash. We like to put on these pretty crystal um, decanters because we don't have any other use for these, so we like to use them. And that's, um, I've got one and he's got one. And then the Mavi men's collection, that's his. Um, but come into the shower with me. I want to show you what I do here. Um, so on a daily basis, I wash my hair, I mean my face with a facial cleanser. And about twice a week, I use the scrub. The scrub has little, little granules in it that really um, wash off the dead skin. Um, I uh, feel like I have really oily skin if I don't wash my face with those two. The doTERRA body wash. And on occasion when I'm feeling like I really want to scrub um, with a soap, I use the doTERRA Onyx um, Balance Bar. Um, it has happened to melt into my um, pumice stone, so it's perfect. It's always ready to go. And um, wash my hair with the shampoo and conditioner. I have a lot of hair. I go through a lot of shampoo and conditioner, so I've got the mega jars. Um, and that's, that's basically how I start my day. Um, I'm not good at self-care and pampering, so I do have 
a um, bathtub here, but I don't take home very many baths. On occasion when I do, I have the sugar scrub right here as part of the spa package, but um, I'm admitting up front, I'm not very good at that. Ooh, I forgot, um, I forgot to show you the little capsule packs. Um, because I do take so many of the different products, I put them in these little packs. I make 30 um, every month, they're ready to go. I just grab it and go so that I don't have to sit there and count pills. And um, I am not as good about making my own blends and um, being creative and crafty and making pretty labels. I have made a closet blend and a body blend. The closet blend I like because it has um, cedar wood in it and I really like um, protecting my wool um, from moth balls or moth holes. And um, this one is what I, my after shower spray. So as you can see, was not creative enough to make labels. So I just smell, the one that smells like cedar wood is the, the closet one and the other one's my, um, my after shower. So not very technical over here, but come on over here with me. Let me show you um, how I start my days over there, how I end my days over here. Um, this is my little box of personal um, uh, evening use oils. Um, I've got some peppermint. Sometimes I, I get headaches and migraines. I um, use um, peppermint for that. As a matter of fact, that's how I learned about doTERRA. I had a terrible migraine when I landed in Chicago to visit my friend Toro, and she gave me some peppermint, and 15 minutes later, I felt better, and I was, uh, I was hooked. It was, there was nothing that had worked for me um, off um, things that had been prescribed to me or off um, the, the, the shelves, so the fact that something worked was it for me. I love the smell of lemongrass, so every night before I go to bed, I will put some of this um, somewhere where I can smell it. Um, I do have a lot of people like um, lavender and vetiver if they have sleeping issues. I don't have sleeping issues, but I do have serenity and my uh, serenity um, spray, pillow spray and uh, things like that, but I don't have a problem sleeping. Usually I, I uh, fall right asleep. What I do have problems with is uh, sometimes I have um, aches and pains, and uh, so does Charlie. So um, we have a humongous bottle of Deep Blue. Um, we were going through the little tubes so quickly that we decided to invest in the big bottle. It has wintergreen, um, German chamomile, camphor, um, peppermint, all kinds of oils in it. And it really cools and soothes your muscles and uh, helps with uh, aches and pains. I also use clove um, oil and the deep blue oil. Um, and I just put maybe a drop extra in the emollient um, deep blue lotion and I just mix it all in to make it extra strong. Um, and then we are having horribly hot weather in Sacramento. Um, so I wanted to show you how I cool off during the day and even sometimes late at night. I put some peppermint in this. I bought this at Lowe's, it's battery operated. I put a couple of drops of peppermint in here turn it on and um, spray it on, um, really cools the skin. Peppermint uh, is an oil that really cools the skin. The only thing with this you have to be careful about is not to get it in your eyes because um, that experience is not fun. So I wanna take you to the rest of the house and um, type in your questions if you have any and Rosie will read them to me, but come with me to the rest of the house. Um, next spot, next stop is our guest room. So, I mean, a uh, guest bathroom. So I want to just um, have you take a look here. Um, I leave a couple of things out for my guests, especially during these uh, times of COVID and pandemic, so they can come in here and wash their hands and um, use this uh, sanitizing spray. Um, again, on guard. Um, I also have the on guard soap here for them and the on guard mouthwash. Um, I do try and ask my guests, like if there's something going on with them, if they have any special needs, I try to get them the oil that they need for the time. So over here in the guest room, I have um, set aside for them their own diffuser, their own lotion, and um, there's serenity and breathe in here. Those are the basics, right? When you come to this region of the country, there's a lot of pollen and people sometimes have respiratory issues. So breathe um, is what I offer first. And then not sleeping in their own bed, as comfortable as my bed is, I offer them serenity so that they can sleep. Um, if they want other things, I give them other things, but that's basically the guest room. I'm gonna take you into Charlie's office. Um, we um, have been blessed with an amazing program that doTERRA has. 
where you get free oils and you get a um, percentage of your sale of purchase for one month, you get it in free products the next month. It's called the Loyalty Rewards Program. Um, we've been with doTERRA for five years. We've ordered uh, something and added something to our collection every month. So over the five years, we've accumulated a lot of free points. Um, the biggest advantage of that is that Charlie can have his own set of oils. We don't have to fight over things. He just tells me I'm low on this or I need more on that. And I just get it for him. And I got him a box and he has um, his oils here um, that he uses, the ones that he uses the most on top. And so I knew that when uh, the drawer on the bottom, you know, you can see it's empty, that he probably wasn't going to get into it um, very much. And so um, the Tara had a, um, a special oil that they start discontinued just because um, they uh, source ethically. And when the supply of certain oils is low around the earth because of environmental reasons or um, just the supply of that, um, that essential oil is hard, they just discontinue it so that they're not harming the earth. Well, they did that with um, the, one of the Siberian oils. And um, what's it called? I forgot the name now. Anyway, um, I hid my bottle down at the bottom here because I knew no one would find it. It'd be safe here. And one day, Charlie was asking him, well, what do you need me to order for you? And he was like, can you order that? It was like Siberian fur, I think. And, um, and I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, well, you know, I just love it. I've been diffusing it. It's great. And I was like mortified because I'd hit it here so no one would use it. And he was using it. So anyway, no worries, though. Um, he has his little diffuser. He calls a science experiment that he um, diffuses. And it's fun. Our, our offices are opposing each other. It's fun to see what he's diffusing versus what I'm diffusing. So um, we're going to go downstairs. Um, I'm going to take the camera. Charlie's going to go ahead of me. And um, I'm going to try and walk slowly. Sorry about the, um, the um, up and down part of the stairs. So um, as we're going down, Rosie, any questions, any comments? All of the comments are about how great you look and <laughs> about how amazing your bathroom setup is. And <laughs> well, thank you. Um, yeah. We've had, we've had fun uh, setting up this house and, and renovating. So I'm taking you into our family room now. Um, to be honest, we don't spend a ton of time in this room, but um, uh, we have our TV here. We're not big TV watchers, but um, it's fun to have some oils out um, when we are in this room or when guests come over. So we have a little diffuser here and this cute little diffuser holder. Some basic oils here, some balance, um, some lavender, some on guard, there's on guard everywhere in this house and, and I try to get people to use it as much as I can. So um, I have some um, emotional supporting oils here, some forgive, some passion. Um, these are oils that um, really support us with what we're going through um, on any given day, on a stressful day. There's a lot of challenges we all face and it's also fun to make it available to my uh, friends who come over. Um, this last weekend, some friends came over and we were playing around with a couple of concepts that we're working on and we use passion to ignite our passion and creativity. So we're almost done with the tour. Um, hopefully I haven't zipped through it too fast. Come with me to our laundry. There's really no area of this house that we uh, don't use the oil. So I want to show you our laundry. So um, here we've got, um, we use our um, on guard laundry detergent. Um, you don't really need a lot. It's um, got the high efficiency. We just use a teeny tiny bit of the cap. And then occasionally when we're doing towels or something that uh, has gotten that musty smell, we will add um, an oil. So for towels, I like using tea tree oil. Um, if I'm doing sheets and um, and towels that I want um, to smell good, I will throw a drop of um, lavender in. And then I also have Purify here. It's a great cleanser. So with this, I'll just do a drop. And, um, and with the, um, the detergent, it's plenty to make the whole um, load smell good. And then along the same lines, we have uh, the Do Do doTERRA wool balls. Again, uh, we don't use dryer sheets. We just take the lavender and just do one drop on the ball. There happens to be two of them. And um, that makes our whole load smell good and they 
bounce around and fluff everything up and make it soft. So the neat thing about the wool balls uh, that it reminds me of is that doTERRA's Healing Hands is a partnership around the world with different uh, communities that are um, not as well off as we are and they do co-impact sourcing. They teach them uh, a skill, maybe, maybe it's growing the oils or maybe it's making wool balls. These happen to be made by women in Nepal. So um, it gives them a stream of income. It helps them become independent, take care of themselves. It gives us an opportunity to have a high quality product. So it makes me feel good all the way around. And so on to our last stop. Um, we are in um, our, uh, our ooh, I forgot the, the diffuser. So Charlie and I really fell in love with these science experiment diffusers. So his is in his office, mine is on the kitchen counter. This thing goes on when I come downstairs for breakfast and it stays on um, until we go to bed, basically. We refill it about uh, two times and we um, put different oils in there. Um, I think today I put, I put in today? Maybe peppermint, I think. Um, different oils, depending on what's going on for the day. Um, we love blending different oils together and um, we try and match it with whatever we're cooking. So if we're like, we had fish last night, we did lime, um, something citrusy. So um, this is my, my kitchen display. So uh, I wanna spend some time uh, talking about what we do here. Um, we use the essential oils um, in water we use it in um, salad dressing, we use it in cooking, uh, we use it in shakes. Um, so uh, occasionally I burn myself, I use the lavender to, um, to um, take care of my burns. But um, one of the things that um, I've learned about essential oils is that um, they last a long time. And when you, your recipe calls for cilantro or basil or thyme or oregano, something that you'd have to run to the store and buy a bunch of, you know, they're like $5 a bunch. They're expensive. And at least for me, I use a little bit and the rest of it goes to waste. So I've switched to using these oils. I love using them in the soups I make in the winter. I love using them in fish and chicken dishes that we make. They make the food taste great and um, they're just so much cheaper and so much less waste than um, buying herbs from the store. I also like adding it to tea. Um, I know that um, a lot of you drink tea uh, and flavor tea is fun. I use cardamom oil and wild orange oil in tea a lot. Um, it gives it a great aroma and um, we drink black tea, um, Persian black tea and the card cardamom makes it uh, smell fantastic. So um, the last part of what we do in the kitchen is the kitchen um, is the on guard um, concentrated cleanser. It comes in a bottle and we just use a spoon of it in a big bowl. That's what we use to clean the counters and the floors. A little bit goes a long way. Again, tying in the on guard, the dis disinfectant cleanser, um, a combo of wild orange, cinnamon, and clove. Um, so all in all, when you come to our house, you're definitely smelling a lot, lots of different oils and aromas. And, um, and now that you've seen everything, I hope you come for a visit when COVID is over. I think that's about it, Rosie.